Hi there, I just wanted to share with you um, some investigation I've been doing. I've got a load of um, M3 idler pulleys for the, the 3D printer upgrades I'm doing, that's, that's an M4 version, um, but you get the idea. And there's um, been a question recently on 3D Printed Life's channel. Uh, Andrew over there was having problems um, getting a way of mounting uh, these bearings against his structure uh, in a way that didn't bind the outside of this bearing and uh, one of the guys down in the comments suggested uh, using the nylock nuts because they, these these things here have a nice little um, uh, proud radius and don't have the hex um, corners sticking out so I thought I'd look into it and see what worked for me so I got the hex um, hex nut normal, I got the nylock one, I got a, a conical spring washer, I got a normal washer uh, for an M3, got the normal M3 um, socket head allen um, bolt, uh, the pan heads are pretty much a write off. Um, I also looked into these um, uh, sort of push fit, uh, press fit um, 3 mil things, uh, they were right off straight away so we'll take that one out um, and I also looked into uh, these, uh, they're Harwin uh, standoff spacers M3 and also these uh, M3 aluminium riv nuts, they also come in a stainless steel version as well um, and the final thing I looked at was um, some of this 4mm uh, outside diameter uh, with a 0.45mm wall thickness so that's just over three millimeters internal diameter um, and I'll show you um, what I came up with and what worked for me so here you can see um, how I've got some of these mounted um, this is just because I've got a load of M3 uh, holes um, cut into this aluminium flat so it was a convenient place to mount them and show you so the first thing I did was uh, this this setup, which is the uh, just um, nylock on the top, nylock on the bottom, and it does an okay job. But the, the real problem is that um, you don't get an adjustable height of standoff, and um, you can't use the nut all the way up where you've got um, a non-threaded shank on your bolt. Um, I. I don't really like this. I'm not 100% convinced that you can tighten them to the right level, um, and st it's still quite stiff, and still um, not get any binding with that. It might work on other diameters, as experienced by the guy who's offering advice. I think on a, on an M4 um, version, but for M3, it's it's not really a goer. So the next thing I tried was these quite nice. Um, uh, these are the Harwin. Uh, standoffs and I tried these with the conical spring washers on top because I did find that these um, these normal bolt heads uh, do bind just on the M3 so um, these are actually really nice um, in terms of the the non-binding properties of them these Harwin spacers the only problem is you can't really tighten them enough so that they don't wobble and maintain uh, a low friction so unfortunately they are out, they just weren't stable enough when you've got that spacing uh, standoff. Next thing I tried was uh, use the Harwin spacer um, on the top half, and that worked great. And then use these riv nuts, and they've got a flange around the bottom that you can see there. They also thread on, um, so similar to the nylock nuts rather than the, the just the spacer, you can actually um, sort of clamp these down against the um, the thing you're threading threading the bolt into and these provide a really sturdy um, shaft with the standoff and you can uh, you can adjust the tension um, of the bolt down onto your bearing because these inside here you've got two bearings and if you push down too hard they do bind anyway even if you're not having interference with with the outer um, outer side so I thought also um, these this is I think a six mil version of the Harwin space, so they do a three mil version. So I'm going to get a, a load of those. I think they're only about 25p each, so they're fairly affordable. Um, and over here, you can see what I did with that brass rod. I just cut a, a couple of mil length um, off top and bottom, and they work. That works quite well as a spacer. And then I've used the rivnut on the other side to provide that firm clamping. 
uh, basis and I'm really happy with with the way those work. You don't get the same adjustment on, on this one as you do where, here where you've got the independent thread on this side but I'm really happy with that. So hopefully that's of use to people. Um, I'll put some links in the description about where I got the parts from and y you might like to try uh, some of the setup I've done here for your, uh, for your next M3 idler pulley setup.